Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss again assignment problem, and in this assignment problem, we are going to discuss unbalanced problem. Now, question arises: What is unbalanced problem? In this case, which you have seen, there are five rows and six column. Five rows and six column. If we're talking about five rows and six column that is not row and columns are not equal so this is a case of unbalanced problem now what exactly this problem uh, we have six cities a b c d e and f and other side there is also six cities v w x y z in five cities we have one extra truck for transportation that means in the city w x y z we have one extra truck for transportation and uh, if we talking about the a b c d e f there are five there are one deficient truck in e city right so uh, what exactly happening we have six cities a b c d e f and other side we have five cities w x y z v w x y z in six cities we have deficient one truck that means hamare paas mein yahan par transportation ke liye ek ek truck kam hai but if we talking about w x y z v x w y uh, z in the cities we have one extra truck right so what happened i have to send these extra extra trucks to the deficient city mujhe v w x y z mein jo extra truck hain unko a b c d e f mein mujhe send karna hai this is my problem and the given table shows the distance between city if we talking about the distance between city v to city a is 12 km if we talking about the distance between city w to city c that is 25 km if we talking about city y to city f that is 12 km and the, this is what the table given is what the distance table and obvious hai we want minimize the cost hum log kya chahte hain ki cost kam se kam ho so we will send the truck to the, that city jiske beech ka distance kam ho the total travel is minimum so what should we do uh, with the help of hungarian method that is assignment problem we can solve it now uh, we have five cities this is a case of minimization number one which is uh, very important if we talking about the hungarian method the must, first number is what that is what mini minimization problem problem kaisi honi chahiye minimization problem right if we talking about point number 2 to that is what balanced problem balanced problem but in this case in the above case what happened our problem is not balanced because of we have five rows and six columns so it is not balanced so first of all we will make it balanced if not then what we will do make it balanced we have to make it balanced right uh, the, the, this is a requirement that our problem must be balanced if it is not then we have to make it balanced how we will make it balanced that with the help of dummy we will make it balanced that means i am going to add another uh, row that row is known as dummy d u m m y and the cost of the dummy is what 0 0000000 right so now it is balanced and because of the cost is zero the distance is zero so it doesn't matter it is not uh, affect the total cost jo hamara total jo travel ka jo distance aayega usko ye affect nahi karega that is why i take the cost zero right next step is what after it when it is become balanced what we will do uh we will do row operation 
रो ऑपरेशन और विच आई कॉल रो मिनी my z a t i i o n row row minimization minimization am going to do row minimization. how we will do row minimization you just have a look right so what happened in row minimization uh, what's the minimum value uh, in first row i want to know the minimum value in first row so i'm going to highlight it so that uh, it is it become easy in first row minimum value is 8 right in second row minimum value is 10 in third row minimum value is 3 in fourth row minimum value is 6 in fifth row minimum value is 7 and in last row that is what zero so what i'll do i will subtract 8 which is the minimum value of first row ये जो मिनिमम वैल्यू है एट मैं इसको फर्स्ट रो में से माइनस करूंगा आई एम गोइंग टू सब्रैक्ट इट फ्रॉम दी फर्स्ट रो नाउ यू जस्ट लुक एट हियर सो व्हाट वी विल डू ट्वेल्व माइनस एट सो ट्वेल्व माइनस एट इज व्हाट फोर देन टेन माइनस एट इज टू फिफ्टीन माइनस एट इज सेवन ट्वेंटी टू माइनस एट इज फोर्टीन Eight minus eighteen. Eighteen uh, minus eight is what ten, and eight minus eight is what zero. Now, if we're talking about the second row, what we will do? The minimum value in second row is what ten. So it is what ten minus ten zero. Eighteen minus ten is eight. Fifteen, five, six, two. Right. In third row, minimum value is three. So eleven minus three is eight. Seven, zero, five, three. Oh, sorry, two and uh, six. I'll check it again. Eight, seven, zero, five, two, and six. in the uh next row that is what y minimum is 6 so 6 minus 6 is 0 14 minus 6 is 8 10 minus 6 is 4 and uh, 13 minus 6 is 7 and 13 minus 6 again 7 and 12 minus 6 is 6 right in the next row minimum value is 7 so we are going to subtract 7 so 7 8 minus 7 is 1 12 minus 7 is 5 11 minus 7 is 4 7 minus 7 0 and uh, 13 minus 7 is 6 and 10 minus 7 is 3 so 1 5 Four zero six three. Ah, uh, in the last row, the minimum value is what? In the last row, minimum value is zero, and zero minus zero that is what zero. That means last row will be ah uh, zero only. So zero 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 and zero. Right. So this is what row minimization. Now we will do column minimization. what we will do we will do that is fourth step column column minimization right so what we will do in column minimization first of all we are going to find the minimum value of each row we are going to find the minimum value of each row just find it out the minimum value of each row that is what uh, minimum value in first column that is what zero so 4 minus if i'll say that is what 4 minus 6 uh, is what minimum value is zero in this case minimum value zero in this case minimum value 0 in this case minimum value 0 0, 0 0 you will find that each and every column has 
right that means if i subtract zero from each column the uh, matrix remains same the matrix remain same right so this is what each and every column has zero that means matrix remains same so after column minimization you will find the same table so i'm going to do copy paste right control v the same table control z uh, i'll take i'm going to remove the zeros right because of its create problem in copy paste so this is what control c and control v control z control v right so after column minimization we get this table now what we will do after column minimization what we can do draw line draw and you know it very well how we can do draw lines that means we will draw minimum line to cut all zeros hame kam se kam line se sare zeros ko cut karna hai and line must be either horizontal or vertical so i can see there are lot many zeros in the last row so i will draw one horizontal line then i will draw this one vertical line and uh, in this case in this case i can draw like this mm -hmm. yes i can draw draw and draw now you will find how many uh, lines are there they are 1 2 3 4 and 5 lines there but we because of we have uh, six rows and six column in that case we required six line and we uh, get only five lines so what we will do we are going to find the minimum value of the cell free numbers free numbers are 2 8 7 8 5 what are free numbers which is not covered by line And ten, six, two, seven, six. These are also free number. So minimum value is what? If you find the minimum value from free number, you can see minimum value from free number is what two. This is number, right? This number is free because of these are free numbers. These are free numbers which is not covered by line, right? so these are free numbers so minimum value is what 2 so what we will do subtract 2 from free numbers subtract 2 from free numbers and what you will do where line are intersecting you will add that 2 so this is what one position where line are intersect intersecting another position one more position and one more position where line are intersecting so what will be happened you just look at here i am going to add it here dummy so line are intersecting so 0 plus 2 is 2 line are intersecting so 0 plus 2 is 2 2 is 2 and 2 is here also right so this is what where line are intersecting if line is passing like 4080 1 7 15 0 4 4 4 2 3 3 Zero two six six three. In this case, line is passing. So what we will do? These number are as it is. So four zero eight zero one and seven fifteen zero four four as it is and fourteen five five. Seven zero as it is, and zero two six six three as it is, and in this case, like last row dummy again zero and zero, there are two zero which is where line is are passing. So these number are also same. But what we will do from free numbers, we will subtract minimum value. So in remaining numbers. what we will do subtract minimum value so 2 minus 2 is 
zero. Eight minus two is six. Five minus two, seven minus two is five. Eight minus two, six, and five minus two is three. Right. In this case, eight. Ten minus two, eight. Six minus two, four. Two minus two, zero. Seven minus two, five. And six minus two is four. Again, we will draw line. Again, we will draw line. You must have uh, watched previous two lectures and uh, watched those videos also. So you know it very well how we uh, draw line and how we do such operations. So in this case. We have these two numbers, two zeros. In this case, we covered two zeros, and in this case, we covered two zeros. In this case, we covered two zeros, and this is remaining. Either we can draw horizontal line or vertical line. I will draw one vertical line. So again, with the help of five lines, I cover all zeros. That means what I have to do? I have to do. Uh, the uh, uh, same step. I have to run the same step, right? Next time also in this case, minimum value from three numbers are again two. Three numbers is what two. Uh, what I'll do? I have to send this table to the next page so that we can easily see in it, right? Okay. Now again we have to do. So according to this free numbers, these are free numbers, right? You can easily understand numbers which is not covered by line or that is known as free number. And this is the minimum value is two. So minimum value is what? Two. If the minimum value is two, minimum value of free number is what? Two. So what we will do? Four plus two is what? Six line is passing zero seven sixteen. Why sixteen? Because of line are intersecting. Fourteen plus two is sixteen. Eight and zero. In this case, zero because of line is passing. Six minus two is four. Thirteen. Five. Two zero. And uh, this is what eight plus two is 10. 10, five, zero, seven, zero, six, zero, four, two, seven, three, and four. And uh, in case of a Z, that is what uh, one. One, two, zero, two, one, and two plus two is four. Zero, two, four, zero, two, and this is what dummy. Again, we have to draw line. Again, we have to draw line. So I try to draw line, 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 like this. This is what one horizontal line one. And uh, this is what two, this is three, this is four, and we have two zeros left, so it is what five and it is what six. So now we got five lines, six lines. That means solution is optimum now. Let's check. Like who is getting uh, what? I will show it here. Delete columns. This is what dummy. Dummy, right? Okay. Uh, how many zeros are there in first row? That is one and two. Two zeros. Leave it because of I cannot assign. Uh, any job on the basis of confusion or uh, there are two or three zeros, right? And with the W, we are two zero. If we're talking about X, two zero. If we're talking about Y, only single zero. Y has single zero and I'm going to a lot here. 
right i allotted y to a allotted y to a right okay if i am going to allot y to a that means i am go not going to uh, allot a to w so w has only one option that is f so i will allot f that it is cancel w to f w to f if we talking about we have only single zero because of earlier it has two zeros but now one zero is cut so remaining one zero i will allot to b b to b v to b and when i'm going to allot v to b that means i'm not going to assign b to dummy then dummy has one option that is e that is dummy will get e and uh, z has one option that is d y has a z has d d d i have uh, written wrong it is what d now c has only uh, one option that is what c so this is what allotment if we see the distance if we will see the distance from d city then uh, we will find that uh, that is what v to b v to b that is 10 and w to f that is 12 x to c where i am taking i am taking it from first table like x to c if you will see the first table now x to c x to c that is what 3 right i am taking it from first table x to c x to c that is 3 right and uh, y to a that is 6 z to this is what 7 and dummy is what 0 because of there is no distance between city to dummy kyunki because of dummy cannot exist dummy kuch exist nahi karti that is why 0 what is the total distance the total distance is 38 km the total distance is what 38 km and it is what minimum distance it is what minimum distance so this is what uh, uh, method how we can deal with uh, unbalanced problem first of all what we have to do we have to take dummy for example in this case if you will see we have how many uh, Uh, rows we have five rows right and uh, we have five rows and how many columns we have six column so it is not equal what i'll do i add one dummy so now it becomes six so now it is equal six and six are equal if six and six are equal that means this is a case of balanced so with the help of dummy with the help of dummy we can make un balanced to balanced problem right that means with the help of dummy we can have make unbalanced to balanced problem i hope so it is clear to everyone and uh, again if you have doubt you can ask me right